Disclaimer, the information provided by the presenters is for academic purposes only. The presented information should be supported by credible website. Acknowledgements for the authors included images and background music. The students authorized the posting of their videos. All data, including images, videos, and audio clips, serves as tool for disseminating information. No copyright infringement intended. Mabuhay! Welcome to RIST! Summer is here and if you're looking for a new, attractive, and charming place to spend your vacation, then Capiz is the place to be. Aperi Travel and Tours offers you a 3 days and 2 nights tour package in Capiz. Capiz is a province in the Western Visayas region. It's abundance in marine life such as prawns, crabs, marlins, mussels, catfish, and more made the province the seafood capital of the Philippines. With the province's heritage attractions, captivating natural beauty, not to mention the amazing and affordable selection you can spot here. You surely enjoy this place. A peaceful paradise away from the fast-paced city life will give you a new perspective of Capiz. For this tour, we will start with travel-related destinations. Going to Capiz, you will be departing from Manila International Airport via Cebu Pacific at 10 a.m. in the morning. For the airport protocol and your safety, passengers are required to wear a face mask while in the airport and during the flight. And as of the moment, they do not require passengers to present any travel documents upon checking. Moreover, travel restrictions may change time to time without prior notice. Your estimated time of arrival in Raw City Airport is 11 a.m. in the morning. Take note, fully vaccinated travelers must present their verified vaccination certificate and partially or unvaccinated individuals must bring along a negative RT-PCR result valid within 72 hours before travel. Upon arriving at Raw City Airport, you will see a representative holding a placard with your name on it. Kindly approach him to escort you to the shuttle service. Once you're settled in your seat, you'll be transported to your accommodations where you'll be staying for the entire Capiz tour. The Rojas Residence Inn. This is one of the DOT accredited accommodations at Rojas City. It offers free Wi-Fi, airport transfer and drop-off, shuttle service, daily breakfast, and a private bathroom. It's also 15 minutes away from the airport and it's near famous landmarks within the city which makes it pretty more accessible. Once you have arrived in the inn, you have your early check-in and get accommodated. You'll be having your lunch at the inn for your convenience. A spicy tuna ball will surely make you full until your next meal. You'll then have a spare time to unpack your things to have more time to rest before going to your first itinerary. During your tour at Capiz, you will be required to wear your face mask for your and for the safety of the locals. First attraction of the itinerary is Kalimahan River. This river is famous for its river tour, cruising through seven paradise in a floating restaurant with freshly cooked seafood delicacies. To get there, you will be picked up from an accommodation by your tricycle service at 1.40 p.m and arrive at Kadimahan at 1.50 p.m. You will board the floating cabana along with your local tour guide and start your river tour at 2 o'clock p.m. This is also where you will have your dinner featuring mixed seafood water cook at your own preference. The river tour will take about 4 hours where you can sightsee, experience recreational fishing, and enjoy the local relaxing foot massage service. After your Kadimahan River tour, you'll be transported by a tricycle service to Kadimahan Sea Wall for sunset watching. You can stay here for a maximum of one hour to indulge yourself with a scenic view of the sun setting right before you. After that, you will go back at 7.30 p.m. to Rojas President's Inn to rest for the night. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes to reach your place. 
Day 2 of your coffee's tour will start with a feeding breakfast provided at the inn. Note, you may bring clothes if you wish to change after your water activities. Once you have your breakfast, you'll have your tricycle service and tour guide ready to pick you up at 8 o'clock in the morning to take you to your first destination, which is the end of Roja City. This is literally the edge of the city, hence the name. The place is simple yet in surround wall. It opened in April 2019 which make it one of the newest attractions in the city of Rojas. You can take your time for an hour here to roam around and take pictures of the place. After that, your tour guide will walk you in the next attraction, the Holasi Lighthouse which serve as the main waterway in the northern Cavies. This modern lighthouse is secluded and you will appreciate the beauty of nature. You have your local tour guide with you to spend an hour at this lighthouse where you can take photos and ask for certain information about this place. For your third destination, you will travel for 5 to 10 minutes going to the ruins of Alcatraz. The said ruins are remnants owned by Bermejo family. They plan to build the place as a resort. However, it was abandoned later on due to the super typhoon Yolanda. It has a Maze Runner vibe, which make it enough for tourists to check this place out. It is also sometimes referred to as Alcatraz due to its resemblance to the infamous island jail in the United States. At this particular attraction, you have an hour to explore the place, roam around, and take photos. The next stop in the itinerary is lunch. You will reach the Isla restaurant via your tricycle service and have lunch there. You will have their best seller, which is the Isla Seafood Special, which consists of mixed seafood in a garlic butter sauce. After about an hour, you can walk your way to Bye Bye Black Sand Beach, which is a minute away from the restaurant. This is a good way to burn off calories from your lunch. Bye Bye Beach is quite famous for its 7 km long stretch of sugar fine glittery black sand and relatively calm water. You won't have your local guide with you here because there will be the people from the beach assisting you. Starting your activity at 1.10 in the afternoon with kayaking for an hour and followed by an hour and 30 minutes of snorkeling and 30 minutes allotted for swimming. The rest of 2 hours will be allotted for personal time like pictorial and sunset watching. You may change your clothes and head to your last destination for the day. Your last destination is your dinner restaurant at Alma Grills Restaurant. Your tricycle service will take you to the restaurant, which is 6 minutes away from the beach. For dinner, you will have their house special, which is the pork barbecue. This restaurant is famous for their seafood menu, as well as their barbecue signature specials. After dinner, you will escort to your place which is 6 minutes away from the restaurant. Last day of your copy's tour starts again with breakfast at the inn at 7.30 in the morning. After that, your tricycle service will pick you up at 8.30 a.m. and arrive at your destination at 9 a.m. Starting your Ross Heritage City Tour on your first stop at Panay Church, also known as Santa Monica Parish Church. This church houses the largest church bell in Asia, named by locals as Dakong Linganay. This big bell was built using 70 sacks of coins which were donated by the town people in the historic Spanish era. You will have 30 minutes to take photos and explore the place. The next stop is Casa de Mercado Market House and Paseo del Rio which takes 16 minutes from the church. These two attractions are the newest addition to Capi's places to visit as they were formally opened on February 11, 2022. You will have 30 minutes to look around and buy things that interest your eyes. The next is the Spanish Bridge, which is a 6-minute walk from the previous attraction, also known as the Old Capi's Bridge. This is considered one of the centenarians and one of the most iconic landmarks of the city. You can take photos here for about 20 minutes and then to your fourth attraction, 
it is the view of the bridge. The Immaculate Conception Metropolitan Cathedral that founded in 1707. It is one of the most significant and well regarded places of worship in Panay. The church has been one of the best known landmark in Capiz as it serves to show glimpse into province distance past. You can have 20 minutes to explore the church, take pictures, and pray if you want to. Then after that, you will be heading to your fifth attraction, Ang Panablon Museum, which is a 3-minute walk from the church. Panablon is a hilagay non-term meaning guardian of precious things. The museum houses artifacts or Panay Anon Bukid Nun, indigenous people in the Visayas Mountain, isolated from Spanish rule, for the exhibits of Capuzanos, antique furniture and collection of stamps, currencies, and shells. You have an hour and 20 minutes to explore the Capiz history and take photos. Next would be the Rizal Monument. This monument is the second oldest in the Philippines sculpted by Thomas Confessor of Manila. It is roughly 111 years old. You will have 10 minutes allotted time for this attraction. Your second to the last stop is yet again another monument. The Manuel Rojas Monument is a famous landmark in Rojas City. Situated at the plaza where the ancestral home of the late president Manuel Rojas is located. It is 10 feet bronze monument by the Guillermo Tarantino. You also have 10 minutes to appreciate the monument and take photos of it. And the last stop of the walk and tricycle tour is the famous Spago Cafe and Pasalubong Center. Spago Cafe is a Spanish Ilongo culinary fusion. And of course, a trip is not complete without a Pasalubong for your love What? Their best seller is the book of pie, so go grab yourself a box or two to take home. You have 40 minutes to look for other pasalubong and other things that entice you. After a long walk, you deserve to have a filling and conscious lunch, which will be at Spango Cafe as well. You'll have their house special, which is the Lola Ita's Palabok special which has many appetizing toppings and cocido. A traditional chickpea-based stew from Spain is cooked with beef and vegetables. A perfect way to end your trip with an alongo and Spanish cuisine. After your much satisfying lunch, you'll be exported to your accommodation. A tree in the afternoon and rest for a while or pack everything you bought and brought for this trip. 4 p.m. is your late checkout, and the accommodation shuttle will drop you off at 4.05 and you will arrive at Rojas Airport at 4.20 p.m. and your flight will be at 6.40 in the evening and your estimated time of arrival is 8 p.m. And of course, what is a tour without a memento? This tour package also includes a souvenir. If you might have already known, Capiz is abundant with marine life. We thought of things that would represent and symbolize the province of Capiz, and we have come up with a wall decor made from Capiz shells. These Capiz shells are almost nothing to people. After taking out the edible part of the shell, they will throw it immediately. So, we thought of a way to reuse that. Since some already make chandeliers out of it, we made our souvenirs a wall decor. We glue the shells together to form an asymmetrical design that would look aesthetic enough to be hung on the wall. And they can choose whether they want to personalize it or hang it as is. In this way, we won't be consuming plastic and it is reusable and eco-friendly. Apparate travel and tours will make your trip memorable and exciting. This tour will revolve mostly around the city of Rojas, highlighting its heritage attractions and top destinations. For your convenience, Apparate travel and tours will take care of all the necessary arrangements and inclusions during your tour. Here's the list of all the things included in this tour package. This is the breakdown of our tour costing per package. So our tour costing amounts to the overall 3 days and 2 night services such as transportation, accommodation, full meal, land arrangements, other fees, 
and a 25% markup. Starting with the round trip air transportation via Cebu Pacific, the net rate per person for the single occupancy is 2,164 pesos, same with the double and triple occupancy. Note that rates are net and rates are subject to change without prior notice. Next is our hotel accommodation at Rojas Residence Inn, which includes daily breakfast, free Wi-Fi, and free airport shuttle. For the locked single room, the net rate amounts to 2,160 pesos, for the deluxe twin room, it costs 2,240 pesos per person. And the deluxe matrimonial, which is good for 3 to 4 persons, amounts to 1,333.33 pesos per person. For the beach trip, the single occupancy costs 2,200 pesos, 1,500 for double, and 1,333 for triple. This includes all the activities and equipment that you will be needing. Moving on with our Kadimahan River Tour. The floating cabana occupied by one person amounts to 1,000 pesos, 500 for double, and 333 pesos per person for the triple occupancy. And the food massage amounts to 150 pesos per person for single, double, and triple. Next is the full board meal, amounting to 1,670 pesos for single, 1,095 pesos per person for double, and 903 pesos per person for triple. The pasalubong costs 350 pesos per person for single, double, and triple. For the entrance fees, Manuel Rojas Shrine charges 50 pesos per person and 10 pesos for the edge of Rojas City per person. Next are the land arrangements. For the services of our local tour guide, the rate for 3 days amounts to 3,000 pesos. So for the single occupancy, it is 3,000 pesos. For the double, it costs 1,500 pesos per person. And the triple amounts to 1,000 pesos per person. Then, since we are supporting local services, we have chartered a tricycle vehicle for 1,800 pesos. So for the single packs, this amounts to 1,800 pesos and for the double, it costs 900 pesos per person. And for the triple packs, since a tricycle cannot accommodate more than 3 people, we rented a 6-seater private car for your convenience, which costs 2,890 pesos, inclusive of the fuel. Note that rates are net and rates are subject to change without prior notice. Then we also have other fees such as environmental fee for 100 pesos per person. The contingency fee per person is 200. We also have the travel insurance of 450 for single packs, 300 pesos per person for double, and 267 pesos per person for triple. Then we have the souvenirs amounting to 200 pesos per person. Now this gives us a total net of 15,404 pesos for a single pack, 11,159 pesos per person for double, and 11,184 pesos per person for triple. After getting the net rates, we will now add a 25% markup. So for the single occupancy, the 25% markup is 3,851. For the double, it is 2,789.75 and the triple amounts to 2,796 pesos. Now, to get the selling price of our packages, we will be adding the net rates and the 25% markup. So the price for our single package is 19,255 pesos. This includes a round trip air transportation, 3 days and 2 nights accommodation, full board meal, tricycle service, and a local tour guide. And the price of our double package is 13,949 pesos, inclusive of our round trip air transportation, 3 days and 2 nights accommodation, full board meal, tricycle service, and a local tour guide. Then the price of our triple package amounts to 13,980 pesos. This includes a round trip air transportation, 3 days and 2 nights accommodation, full board meal, a private car service with a professional driver and a local tour guide. 
Let's now proceed to the group tour package. Note that the rates here are based per person. Starting off with a round trip transportation via Cebu Pacific amounting to 2,164 pesos per person, note that rates are net and rates are subject to change without prior notice. For the accommodation at Rojas Residence Inn, the net rate per person is 736.84 pesos. Next, we have the beach trip which amounts to 295 pesos per person. Floating cabana amounts to 52.63 pesos per person and the foot massage amounts to 150 pesos. The full board meal amounts to 1,757 pesos per person, pasalubong for 350 pesos. Then we have the entrance fees in Manuel Roja Shrine. It costs 50 pesos per head and 10 pesos per person for the entrance fee in the edge. Moving on to the land arrangements, the rate of our local guide for a 3-day service amounts to 75 pesos per person. Then we will also use a bus for a round-trip land transfers from Manila going to the airport and back to Manila which then cost 636.33 pesos per person. And for getting around Roja City, we will be using a private van which gives us a net rate per person of 1,677.63 pesos. Note that rates are net and rates are subject to change without prior notice. Then we also have other fees starting with the environmental fee, contingent fee, and travel insurance which amounts to 100 pesos, souvenir cost 200 pesos, and the operational expense of 100 pesos. This gives us an overall total of 8,554.43 pesos per person. For this group tour, we will be having two FOCs or free of charge, so we'll be multiplying the overall total which is 8,554.43 pesos to two FOCs, then dividing it to 40 paying tax, which will give us an amount of 427.72 pesos for the two FOC. Then we will be adding the amount of the two FOC to 8,554.43 pesos, which will give us a total net rate of 8,982.15 pesos per person. Then we will be adding a 25% markup which amounts to 2,245.53 pesos, giving us a total of 11,227.68 pesos. And for the 10% commission, we will be multiplying the selling price to 0 0.1 which will give us 1,122.76 pesos per pax. And for the Neto Travel Agency, we will be deducting the 10% commission to the selling price resulting to 10,104.92 pesos. This is now the selling price per person of our group package which of course includes a round trip air transportation, a 3 days 2 nights accommodation, full board meal, round trip land transfers, private van service with a professional driver, and a local tour guide. With that, on behalf of Apparate Travel and Tours, we thank you for staying until the end of the video. We hope to see you in Capiz. Salamat at mabuhay!